Hey everybody. Today we're tidying data in R using the separate command. This is useful when you have a column in your data frame that includes more than one variable and you need to break up that column. It's included in the tidier package in the tidyverse family of packages and I've already loaded that up with library tidyverse. I've also pulled up the help file with question mark separate. In this vid, I'm going to be looking at the Smith's data set that's also included in the tidier package. You can see that it's really small. It's only got two observations, one for each of the two members of the Smith family, John and Mary, and there's five columns. Here, however, the subject column includes both the first and the last name of the person. And that's probably fine for some purposes, but for others, you'll want a column for the first name and a column for the last name. So let's make that happen. As advertised, our command here is going to be separate. And like so many commands in the tidyverse, the first argument here is going to be the name of the data set, Smiths. So that means that this is going to play nicely with the pipe. After that, we need to let R know what column we're worried about. In this case, it's the subject column. That's the one we want to break up. Next, we have to say the names of the new columns that we want. So remember, this is a name. We want to break it up into its two pieces. So since we're passing more than one thing here, it has to be as a vector. It's going to be first and then how about last? And fundamentally, that's all we need. So it's small, so we'll just print it out in the console. You can see that we still have all of the variables are the same except for the subject variable, which is now gone and has been replaced with the two that I specified, first and last. If we like, we can have R keep the original variable in the data set by specifying remove equals false. Now we have not only first and last, but also subject. So notice that R was smart here. It figured out where we wanted to break up the subject variable. It found the space and broke it up there. In general, separate will separate according um, to wherever it sees a non-alphanumeric character. So like space, dot, slash, etc. If we need, we can specify that more specifically by specifying sep equals. And I'll just do the space here. So this should give me exactly the same output as I got the first time and it did. So um, that's potentially useful if your column name, in, or rather if your columns include not only spaces but also dots and slashes for instance. Um, in this case one of the columns isn't particularly informative. We have the last name but it's always Smith and Smith is the name of the data set so maybe I don't need that. So let's paste this com command again. This time, I don't want the last column. And so I'm going to replace that with an NA. And that'll take out the entire column and only give me the part of the subject variable that came before the separator. We could have done into equals C parenthesis NA comma quote last if we only wanted the second part. So back to this data set, Smith's there is one other variable that we might want to separate, and that's the height variable. So 1.87 and 1.54, this is in meters. We might want a column for both meters and centimeters for one reason or another. So let's separate, separate the Smiths. And this time the call is going to be height. And the into Let's call it M for meters and centimeters for CM. So at first blush, this does exactly what we want. We got the meters column and the centimeters column, 187, 1 and 54. But there might be a, an undesirable behavior here. Notice that these are both character vectors. So by default, separate isn't going to guess whether or not we should, um, whether or not, it's not going to guess at the type of vector that it's going to be getting. It's going to default towards making everything a character vector. If we want R to guess, we need to add the argument convert equals true. And that'll give us exactly what we want. We have meters and centimeters now, both as integer vectors.